Hey guys, it's Rolando from Red Moto. So today we're going to be working on this 2019 BMW 5 Series rear bumper removal and installation. If you guys like this video, go ahead and like, subscribe, and turn on the push notification. And also hit that like button. The link is up above and down below so you guys can go ahead and purchase this exact bumper ready to go, color match to your vehicle, and ship right to your door. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so a couple of basic tools we're going to be using today. It's going to be an 8 millimeter socket wrench right there, a T20 Torx bits. Oh, let me flip that around. A T20 Torx. It looks like this. It's like a little star looking thing. Mine, I'm going to put an adapter like this so I can put that on. And then we're going to use a 10 millimeter right there. This one's a little bit rusty, but you guys can see it's a 10 millimeter socket wrench right there. So if you guys look down here, there will be bolts on the side, like right there. It's gonna be one, it's gonna be a second one right there. And then a third one is like right here, it's kind of hiding, but it's right here. But let me go ahead and show you guys how to take that off. So guys, if you grab one of these uh, eight millimeters right here, get the longer one so you can guys get through the, the wheel well right here. So one is gonna be, so if you guys come to the side of the bumper, feel directly behind it, and then you'll see like, you'll feel like a couple bolts. It's gonna be one, two, and three. All right, so those screw, those bolts look like this and there's three of them so now once you get those three bolts off there's gonna be a fender liner right here so you're gonna use your hand and push back on that fender liner like that just like that and you come up right here it's like right here if you guys put your finger right there so right here put your finger right there you'll feel another bolt so again that's gonna be an eight All right, so that bolt looks like the same exact one. So right there. All right, so you guys go ahead and duplicate the exact same thing you did over here on the other side of the bumper. You're gonna go underneath, right underneath this bumper right here. But you're gonna see this uh, black cover right here. There's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six bolts. You get those off, that's also gonna be an eight millimeter and that'll complete the bottom portion of this uh, removal. All right, so now go ahead and open the trunk lid. I kind of took off that side already, but I'm going to show you guys how to take it off on this side. So you guys are going to take off this cover right here. If you put your finger right here, just kind of pull up and it will just come off. It's just held down by these uh, push pins right here. Put that to the side. What I'm going to do is I'm going to loosen up the tail light because right here, there's a bracket and sometimes the bumper gets caught up on it. So I'm gonna loosen up that head, that tail light with a 10 millimeter. Loose enough. And then right here, that's where you're gonna, gonna use that Torx bits. So right there is gonna be your T20 Torx bits. Gonna go right in there and take off that little bolt right there. And this looks like that right there. All right, once you guys get the uh, bolts all taken off of the sides of the bumper, the bolt on the tail light area, and also the bolts underneath the bumper, like in the middle, go ahead and uh, pull from one side first. Let me show you guys that. So you use your hands and pull right here. 
Oh, let me see. Is there a bolt that, oh. So there's another uh, bolt right here. All right. So another one right there. So once you also take that one bolt down there off, do that on the other side too. You can go ahead and pull like that. All right, so just leave that there and pull the other side. Once you guys have both sides pulled off a little bit on each side, right there. I'm gonna go ahead and take it from one side and then pull. You're gonna have to use a little bit of force. So take it from right here, use your hands and kind of like, you gotta have some force into it. Just gotta release it from that clip. There we go. So you gotta release it from that clip right there. So hold on right here. There we go. And then slowly take it off because you have that sensor. So this one particular bumper right here in the bottom is catching on. So if you guys look down here, let me see if I can show you guys. It's catching on right here. It's like this little piece right here is catching on. So we're gonna go ahead and use something flat and pry right here so you can release it. So for me, I have something flat like this. A flat head uh, would do also, but I'm gonna go underneath here and find where it's attached and just pull it off. All right, once it comes off, pull it down slowly. And then on this particular bumper, you can go ahead and unhook it right here. So it looks like, there you go. So you press on these two sides right here and it'll release it. And now you have that bumper all taken off. The uh, bumper itself, the bumper is held on through these like little clips right here. So all you do on there is get something flat and you're gonna locate those tabs and basically put a flathead in between the actual bumper and this tab right here and push down and then you're gonna pull the bumper back and then it should dislodge from each of those little sockets or slots. So you have like one, two, three, four, five, six of those, but we'll take a look at the back of the bumper. So that's what I'm talking about, this little brackets right here, those tabs, that's held down by that bracket. So you got one, two, three, four. So four of those that you're gonna pull off of that bracket. So let's go ahead and get this bumper installed. So I'm gonna show you guys how to install the uh, sensor. I didn't show you guys how to uh, take it off. Ran a little bit late on my uh, painting on this bumper. But basically, I'm gonna show you guys how to install it and I'm also gonna show you guys how easy it is to take it off. But one of the things that you guys are gonna have to watch out for is that this tab right here, this um, sensor right here, has this plastic piece. Oh, let me see if I can show you right there. And it comes off of this uh, sensor right here. But you gotta make sure that you have that back on, in place whenever you guys install it back on the new, on the new bumper. All right, so to install it, basically, you're just gonna push down on it. It's really easy. So you find the, uh, make sure they all line up. So this one is gonna be the wrong way. So once you have it all lined up, basically all you do is push down on it, and then you hear a click, okay? So on this tab right here, I'm gonna demonstrate how to take it off. So basically all you do is uh, go on one end, so like right here on the tabs on each side, just kind of push it back and then you pull. Okay. So the first thing we're gonna do is line up these uh, tabs. Onto the brackets down here. Make sure they're lined up and then we're gonna push it, then we're gonna line it up and push the sides into place. And we're also gonna clip the, uh, the sensor wires into place also. So remember, 
the uh, bumper itself right here it goes underneath the uh, tail light and that should secure it you don't push it in right not, don't push it in all the way right now but you have to line up this side too all right so since that's lined up we're gonna go underneath and try to put those tabs and, and uh, clip them on so before I continue on I'm just gonna show you guys how the underside of the bumper looks like so basically right there it's uh, clipped on by that bracket so it's one be a secondary one right there a third one and the fourth one all the way there all right so one thing I forgot to do is clip that uh, that sensor on so you can pull it out a little bit and then it's pretty flexible just grab the uh, the two cables and then plug it in and you should hear a click so now that it's all lined up we're gonna push the tail light portion in and you hear that click and then you're gonna go ahead and uh, come over here and bang it and then you hear a click so now that's in place okay this side and that should go easily in too just push that in so just make sure everything's lined up before you start pushing it in because once you push it in then it clicks on and a uh, portion of it's not in place you might ruin the paint so right there that's good we're gonna go to the other side and do the same exact thing all right so the first thing we're gonna do is put the top bolt back into place with a eight millimeter socket and then we're gonna put the one two three on the side okay and there's one more bolt down here all right so now that's underneath go ahead and tighten that up and you can repeat this step on the other side too all right guys so once you guys have the sides in place go ahead and go underneath and there's going to be i believe eight last time we counted two four six eight of these bolts well almost forgot you guys have to put this one on there too you guys a closer look at what it looks like underneath there so basically this little support right here or this little cover is gonna be underneath the bumper so it covers the whole entire bumper with those prongs and then just secure the uh, this little cover with those bolts all right guys once you guys have that lower uh, piece back into place i'm gonna go ahead and go to the side of the bumper or right next to the tail light i'm gonna go ahead and uh, put that bolt actually that uh, torx bits t20 into place All right guys, so that's how you install a 2019 BMW 5 Series rear bumper. All right guys, thank you for watching.